For assessors, the biggest challenge is to understand the organization before they even plan the assessment. Understanding who the stakeholders are, what they expect from the organization, and what the answers are from the organization to meet or even exceed these expectations. To do that, you need a lot of experience. This is why we've split the assessor training path into two parts. After the first training, we want fresh assessors to gather experience in self-assessments or peer assessments, and only then we invite them back to our qualified assessor training. And only after this training, we think they are fit for assessments in the recognized for excellence levels. Well, we all work in our daily environment, are busy with routine tasks, and quite often we work inside the box. Being part of a self-assessment team, assessors are forced to step out of their box to see, well, like the forest and not only the trees, if you allow me this picture. This experience is very important. Also, in self or peer assessments, assessors use the Eve Care model for the first time in a real environment. With this experience, they are well prepared for the qualified assessor training, where we discuss stakeholder expectations, how strategy and processes are related, or how to measure the success factors of an organization. This is very challenging, also for trainers. A new level of training. Assessors who pass the qualified assessor training are able to fully understand organizations and their strategies. They know who to ask what in interviews to find out where organizations can further improve. And, most important, they know the difference between strategic and operational feedback. So they are able to produce real value-adding feedback for organizations that help them to improve their competitiveness and bottom line results. This has always been the mission of Eve Chem since 25 years. I think with the QAT, the Qualified Assessor Training, we have finally found the proper approach to enable that.